my friends and welcome back to Let's Play The Haunted Mansion. I'm your host, Busted Giant, so without further ado, let's continue. Okay, so before we do anything else, I actually realized in the, uh, when I was editing and uploading the last episode that I actually forgot to read uh, part of the Tome of Shadows that was in the maid's room. So we're going to go find that, and, uh, and we're going to go read it. Now, unfortunately, we're not going to be hearing this sound very often in, in the game, by the way. That jingle of going into a room that you've already beaten, so, yeah. Mm. Oh, well. Must have the beacon of souls. The Brotherhood has been wise to keep it hidden from us. In secret, it travels. From the mountains of Italy to the valleys of Spain. Always just beyond our grasp. But our eyes and ears are everywhere, and the beacon will be found. I will scour the ends of the earth until it is located. So it is written, and so it shall be. So this is, this looks like it's over a century after the last one. My gosh. Wonder what Atticus did in order to keep himself alive. Or maybe he's just undead or something. I, I don't know. He's a sorcerer. He can... There's probably a spell for that. I don't know. I'm, I'm not a sorcerer myself, so I wouldn't know. <laughs> um, yeah. That's the whole reason that we came into this room, so yeah. Hey, Bride Ghost. Sorry about your husband, by the way. It sounded like he ran away. So we've got 220 spirits now, so we need to find the next room. It could be over here. I don't remember where exactly it is. I don't remember where any of the rooms that we need to go to are. Sorry, my uh, nerves are starting to get to me. Um, starting to get a little bit more on edge because I'm not remembering the patterns that the uh, that the enemies take in the hallway here. I think it's randomized actually every every game because um, in one save file I remember going a around this corner right here and a banshee would always appear. Ow. Um, so yeah. I I think that as long as I'm just not on edge, I think I should be okay. Uh, Let's head down here. Oh, check this out. Oh. oh. Hey, bud. Nice. Yeah, that was good. Also, notice how these uh, busts are actually following us. Yeah. I always thought of having, like... Oh, there's... Yeah, I was like, is there another one? Oh, I thought that there was a third one, but that was just the uh, the dead one from before. Uh, is it this one? Ballroom. Okay. This is a fun level. I kind of like this level. You can probably tell by the way that there's uh, double doors that this is a big room, probably. Oh. Freaky music. Yeah, there's the organ. It's a big room. But at least we know where the light switch is, so that's always a good thing. Um... 20 spirits in this room. What? Zeke, who are you talking to? Are you... Do you got some imaginary friends, or was there actually a ghost behind you? Um... Yeah, I guess we just head in. Although, knowing a big room like this, and knowing it's a big evil mansion, there's probably a lot of evil spirits. Oh, man, there's a lot of these things here. Uh-uh! Nah-uh! Nah. Nah, 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 Oh, my finger's cramping. No, 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 yo, no, you're not- Oh! Oh, crap! Oh, my finger's cramping. Ah! Oh my gosh, there's a lot of these things. Ah, my finger's cramping. Because it only actually fires after you, um, after you, uh, I'm firing with my middle finger now, ah, oh, uh, hi, hi, Miss Banshee, hi, hello. Hey everybody, post-production Busted Giant here, um, so when I went back to start editing that little section that you just watched where the Banshee, uh, just appeared, 
Um, before I actually started editing, I had actually forgotten that the Banshee actually appeared. So when I saw her appear when I was editing, I actually got scared in the editing process because I had forgotten that she appeared, which I thought was kind of funny. So yeah, that just goes to show how scared I am of the Banshee, even when I'm not actually playing the game. Don't you disappear on me and okay. I have to shoot with my middle finger. Oh, there's another one. If I can see them coming from a distance, it's not it's not as bad. Okay, so that was a there was a lot of stuff that happened right there, but um here, I'm gonna grab this uh, extra bravery tonic. Other than that, it doesn't really look like there's uh, much action going on here. There's some big trees out there. Sounds like there's rain going on out there, but there isn't. I don't see any. I think th I think in like some console versions, I'm guessing that you can actually see it. Uh, but yeah, ooh, there's some bravery tonic over there, but we don't need it. Uh, yeah, let's just go get the light switch, I guess. Is that, uh, looks like another tarot card. Oh. Yeah, of course it wouldn't have been that easy. Levels just get harder. Oh man. What if the thing is just blowing us around? How the heck are we supposed to get there? Ah, let's ask Madame Leota actually. A spider's web indeed can snare, but used with skill will get you there. Hmm. So sounds like ooh. Sounds like we just um, get pulled towards it and we should be okay. Ah! Oh yeah, I forgot that we actually need to target these things. Looks like the spiders, since they can actually stick to things, are just going to pull us towards the thing because they're not getting blown away by the uh, by the wind while we are. Guess we just use the spider's web in order to get over to the organ or the light switch wherever we're going. Yeah, the, the pattern takes a little bit to get down. And it actually follows the same pattern every single time. So we just need to follow the pattern and we should be good. Man, there's some big boy spiders in here actually. Oh! Uh-oh! Uh-oh. These big spiders actually make me want to play Shrek 2 again. That's one of the uh, first games that I ever actually owned Shrek 2. I want to play that again. I'm planning on doing it pretty soon though. But, oh! Ah, uh, it's a big boy! Oh, that's a really big boy. Uh oh, 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 uh, hey, ah, ah, oh no, oh no, oh no, oh, this, it's gonna get me. Ah. At least we hit it, though. I like the, how they actually included an animation of him trying to resist, like, fight back, like, getting pulled. Oh, apparently there's some recoil with the uh, with the lantern. Oh yeah, there's a little bit of recoil, especially since it looked like it you like he used a power shot. Um, but yeah, it looks like that's the main puzzle of this level over with. Let's get some more bravery tonic. Ah, Zeke is looking a little bit better now. Well, that was fun. That was there was a lot going on in the first section of this level, but looks like we're uh, good to go now. Let's get another fortune card there. And turn on the lights! <sighs> there we go. Oh. Well. Atticus Thorn. Oh, it looks like we're fighting uh, Atticus now. But our bravery meter is still actually increasing, even though... Uh, even though, oh, there it is. Even though uh, the lights uh, got turned off, our bravery meter is actually a lot higher, which is nice. Take, wait, that one ghost, hold on a minute, I'll explain it a little bit. I hate how easy the boss fights are in this game. Now, but before I do, just know I'll be watching you. Yeah, we know. Huh. That ghost at the beginning in the um, in the seance room where Madame Leota originally was said something about worms. Maybe those are the worms that that ghost was talking about that Atticus Thorn summoned. 
Okay, well, it looks like that gigantic chandelier, I didn't realize that it was so big, actually um, lights up, light, lit up the room now, so we're good to go. Okay, well, let's start looking around, shall we? Uh, throbbing painting on the wall, let's see what that does. Uh, ah, so that's what that did. We have us a mumbo doll, and it increased our bravery meter. That's good. Uh... There's a lot of bats hanging out in there. Doesn't this thing doesn't look very roomy though? Uh, yeah. Let's just keep looking around, and find some more of these uh, spirits. You gotta, you gotta flip the R if you're, if it's British. Believe it or not, I've actually never learned how to roll my R's. I don't, I can't do it. Hey, bud. Apparently, Landon when he played this. Um, that was actually his save file at the beginning that you saw there at the beginning of the video. Apparently Landon knew that the dancing that the spiders did actually does that to lure in their prey. Which is kind of smart of them. Uh, yeah. Let's get to... Ah! Yeah, since, since I knew that they were coming, I was fine. If I know that they're coming, it's okay, and I'm not worried. Wait, what? Is there one up here? I thought I saw one go up here. Weird. Oh, that's a lot of spidey boys. Ah, it's gonna bite me! Oh, yeah, they got me. Ah! Ah! Any more? Uh, let's get the other one then, I guess. Is it? Oh, there's just two left, apparently. Oh. And there we go! 240 spirits in the bag! Or beacon. You know, I can stand the bats and the rats. I can deal with the spiders. I can even tolerate the evil spirits. And do you know why? Because they do not interrupt me. Give me that death certificate. I... But Please? I don't believe a word of this, this rubbish. I wouldn't put my music before my, my own life. That would be, well, never mind. I don't have time for any of this. Who is the actor? Smell something? There's a peculiar odor lingering about. It's not you, is it? Oh, and speaking of disturbances, take this, this rock off my precious keys. Okay. Yeah, all right. Jeez, this guy's rude. You may call it a soul gem, but to me it's just another distraction. And I absolutely must get back to my music. So go on. Run along. Shoot. Shoot. Man, this goes... Get us back our mansion. We will. This ghost seems a bit much taller than Zeke, actually. My, my. Now you can fire ultra shots and wipe out whole groups of enemies charge the beacon past the power shot and release it to shoot so it's called an ultra shot okay oh my gosh he's actually quite a bit bigger than zeke is i don't think his fingers are following the correct pattern though of the actual music but at least it's actually blowing his cape around the the wind from the organ. Huh. Uh I wish I could find some bravery tonic because uh because Zeke is uh not looking too happy up there. Oh, looks like there's a couple uh ghosts dancing around. Doesn't look like they can say anything though. Oh wow. That looks like a place where you could actually project a movie. This would be an awesome movie theater though. But of course, considering this is 1879, movies probably weren't that common. I don't even remember what year movies were invented, though. Also, one other thing, I uh, have this kind of cool Easter egg to show you guys. Um, it's not my Easter egg, but it's a uh, cool Easter egg. If you look up there, you can actually see <gasps> a couple Doom Buggies, and you can actually see someone who was actually sitting on the right of it was actually wearing a couple Mickey ears from Disney World. Kind of cool, huh? 
So yes, this game actually does um, have an Easter egg with the Doom Buggies from the original Haunted Mansion ride. Personally, I don't think I've ever gone on the ride. I uh, I haven't gone to Disney World or Disneyland in a long time. Last time I went to Disney World, I don't think I've ever been to Disneyland, but the last time I went to Disney World, I don't even remember it. I My parents said that... I, I was about two, I don't remember it. I was like two years old. And my parents said that there was so much going on that I, that I was just sobbing the whole time because there was way too much going on and I just couldn't concentrate on everything at once. It was just really overwhelming for me. But yeah, if I ever get the chance to again to go to Disney World or Disneyland, I would love, 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 love to go on the Haunted Mansion ride, so. So yeah, let's uh, head back into the hallway, wait. Is it just me or are these doors much bigger than they were in the hallway? I don't know, probably best not to think about it. In part, our situation here in the mansion benefits from understanding the beacon itself and its origins. The monks created it to ensnare and purify evil spirits for guidance to the afterlife. But in the wrong hands, it could be used to harm good spirits and cast them into the fiery depths of the afterdeath. Forming the Brotherhood of the Soul, they vowed to protect the Beacon and the balance of the spirit world from the Order of Shadows ever after. Well, that's definitely a good purpose for the Beacon. Uh, I like where it's, where, uh, its purpose was taken. Um, I, don't e I don't even think Zeke's character is even moving like at all see now he's moving though that's interesting so you can see some movement now but when I was but a little earlier you couldn't weird I don't know uh, but now we've got 340 spirits as a result of the ultra shot let's actually test it out I want to see how it works so hold it past the power shot ah Looks like a type of uh, grenade type thing. Huh. Winter Garden. Okay. Well then, um, I guess this is where we're going next, because 340 spirits. So yeah. I kind of like this. I kind of like this level though. This is a this is a cool level. I don't really like the ambience of this level though, but I I like this level. It's it's cool. Um. Something seems a little off here. Why 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 are we just given the light switch? Here, let's actually get some bravery time. There we go, Zeke is looking better now. Why is Oh, interesting. So the fire pits are actually having water poured on them. Uh, which is preventing the lights from this room from coming on. So I guess we've got to do something about that then. Here, let's ask Madame Leota real quick. Rotate the fountains, every one, but watch your step, or you'll be done. Well, I don't like, th I like the thing that we can rotate the fountains, sounds right, but watch your step doesn't sound very nice to me. Whoa. Ah. So that's what she means by watch your step. Uh, oh, there's a... Hmm. To turn any cranks we come across, you'll need to press and hold activate until they are turned as far as they will go. Sounds like it. Where? Oh. I bet the actor who played uh, Madame Leota was kind of happy she didn't have to, like, say multiple different kinds of buttons. Just say one line for activate and then just have the parentheses for the certain type of button uh, for the different consoles. Because in Spider-Man 2002, Bruce Campbell actually had to voice it for every different console. So, like, for example, on PC, he had to say, press the space bar or press this key. And then on, like, GameCube, you'd have to say, like, press the B button. On PS2, he had to say something else. But yeah, you kind of get the idea. So I bet she was kind of glad that she didn't have to do that. So it looks like we just have to turn this thing and just pour it in there. 
Now, Madame Leota said turn... Ah! Oh. Well, I guess the fire pits are kind of hot, so maybe we shouldn't be stepping on them. <laughs> Makes sense. Um. Yeah. Uh, I don't mean to do that! Because we just... Is he... Do you need a shower, buddy? Well, either way, whether you need one or not, you're getting one. Okay, so... Yeah, I guess that's just what we're going to be doing. Just going through the whole place and just turning on the lights here. Oh, frick. I didn't mean to do that, but whatever. There they are. I could hear them. I'm not super on edge right now, so I, I'm not super scared. So I don't think this is going to be a very entertaining episode, I don't think. Because I, I was hoping for myself to get scared, but didn't work as well as I'd hoped. Okay, so it looks like this one and the one over there are done, but Madame Leota said turn them all. Uh, turn the fountains every one or something like that. So I guess that maybe we should not turn on the lights now because I don't want the fountains to turn back to their original position. I'm pretty sure that's actually what happens, but yeah. Let's keep moving. <sighs> oh, oh crap. Well, that's not good. Well, it doesn't look like we're going back that way. I wonder, if we actually turned on the light switches right now and tried to get back here, would it reset the um, the uh, walkways? I don't know. My guessing is probably not, but I know that if we leave the room, like go out into the hallway and then come back, then it will. Oh, crap! I just... Why did I go this way? I should not have gone this way. Because I, I was walking towards a fountain that I thought that I had, um, I thought that wasn't done, but I think it was. So I guess we just turn this one now. Looks like there's only four in all, so I think we're good. Because this doesn't make any sense. I thought that there was only four. I can't see any more. What? Oh, no! <gasps> What? We gotta turn them all back? If we fall? Oh, that sucks. Alright, well. Okay, well, I guess I will um, see you guys when I uh, turn them back to their original positions. Okay, so using my magical editing, um, you guys didn't have to watch me do all that again. Ah! Well, this is a good chance to use the... No! Oh, crap! What? Okay. I was gonna try and use the Ultra Shot, but apparently if, if they hit you, then then it just turns off the trying to hit it. Like, if you hold down the R button and they hit you while doing that, it just turns it off. Oh, wow, it actually bounces off the wall. I didn't ever realize that. Huh. Well, no matter. Uh, let's uh, turn the lights on. <sighs> Much better. All right, let's start looking around, huh? Oh my. Okay, thanks. All right, let's keep looking around here. I don't really want to think about what I just saw. Uh, oh, that's good. Because we, we lost a life earlier, but um, we got one back, so that's good. Um, yeah, let's just start looking for some uh, spirits. Oh, dear. I don't like that face. Oh, hold on a minute. I want to use the power, or the ultra shot now. Ooh. Nice, that was fun. I think it works even better if you're targeting stuff, too. I like the attention to detail here that all the, um, that all the plants are actually dead, because I don't think goats, ghosts, um, are able to actually tend to them, because, you know, they're dead. I don't know. I don't know. Oh my gosh, I forgot that there was actually a uh, banshee that happened there. Okay, don't you dare disappear on me, because I don't like the uncertainty of not knowing where she is. 
There we go. That, uh, no. There we go! Okay, 355 spirits. Looks like, uh, here, I'm actually gonna look around a little bit more, see if, yep, there's some more, uh, fortune cards over here. I wanna make sure that I don't miss any. Uh, yeah. Uh, oh! Oh, this is the caretaker with the, with the, oh no, he doesn't have his dog with him. But this is the, the caretaker. Well, the good news is that the flowers aren't dead. But the bad news is that nobody is alive to appreciate it. Okay, two, there are two flaws in your logic there, within both of those pieces of news. Firstly, I don't see any living flowers around here, and secondly, do you not see the assistant caretaker right in front of you? Also, buddy, you're supposed to be too frightened to speak, according to the original story. Tend the garden, mow the lawn, fix what's broken. It's not that I have a problem with the work. It's just that no one's ever around to pay me for it. That may be a problem for Zeke, because it doesn't sound like he's going to get paid for this. I don't know, though. I don't know. I think that's also. I think this guy is also played by Corey Burton, the same guy who played um, who played Atticus. I could be wrong though. I don't know. It sounds like it's him. All right. Guess it's time to head back to the. Uh, where's this? Which way do we go for the? <laughs> oh, hey. All right. I'm getting over the fear here of seeing that. I didn't actually expect that, but that's that's fine. Uh, oh, oh, oh wait, we just pressed the thing. <laughs> I thought that there was supposed to be a prompt or something, with, like with the rooms, but it's okay. But that is going to be where we end the video for today, everyone. So thank you all so much for watching. Stay tuned, drink some water, and I will see you in the next video.